Hello, welcome to Poly Games. My name's Joseph. Today is a Destiny video, and a long time no see. It's been a while. I missed your face. I really did. Um, I was going crazy without you guys over in Spain. But with that being said, today, like I said, Destiny video, we're going to be reviewing the Talelok. And the Talelok is the Warlock exclusive weapon that you get uh, when you're hit level 3 with the Weaponsmith. Now, you hit level 3, he'll give you a quest, you gotta kill 100 guys with a scout rifle, telemetry, um, and all that jazz. And after you complete that, you have to dismantle a couple of scout rifles, and then you get the Talalok. That's the fucking gist of it. Um, and the Talalok is a beautiful weapon, it's really becoming my fucking favorite uh, weapon so far in Destiny. And... With that being said, you see that the stats aren't that amazing with it. Everything's kind of like mediocre on the Talalok. So what makes this gun so great? Uh, and that is this baby right here, Overflow. This weapon has better handling, rate of fire, and stability when the wielder's super is charged. Meaning, if you don't like to just pop your super all willy-nilly and whatnot, this gun is for you. If you're more conservative about... Uh, the way you use your supers, this weapon is for you. And also has uh, Grenadier, which is kills, uh, reduce the cooldown of your grenades, which is definitely beneficial. So with that being said, let's see how this gun kicks. As you can see, not a whole lot. After like the fourth shot though, it starts, the kick starts really happening. Uh, compared to, let's go with the Treads Upon Stars, Wait one second. Okay. You can see that the kick is immediate, right? It's veering to the right after the fucking second shot. So we go and we switch back to the Talalok, and you can see that because I've loaded this baby up with a whole that that kick is not as relevant. And with that being said, let's go kill a couple of guys, and I'll we'll show you what it is like when this when the super is up and this gun shoots. It is a thing of beauty. So let's go kill the shield guy, because shield guys are pieces of shit. And now let me reload. Alright. This is the gun now. You see how fast I'm shooting this thing? And it's not kicking almost whatsoever. It's amazing. And because of this, I really, I don't pop my super as much. So this would be really, actually really beneficial for, uh, like, uh, Sunslingers uh, Warlocks. Because I know a lot of Sunslingers, man, who just... They don't pop their fucking, their super until they die in raid. And this would definitely be beneficial for Sunslinger. It's really good in PvE, but how does this thing do in PvP? And let me tell you guys something. I would show you <laughs> some video of me being bad at PvP, but honestly, this thing's also a beast in PvP. You will win 9 out of 10. Fuck it. 10 out of 10 long-range engagements with this gun. Even mid-range engagements, you will win 8 times out of 10, hands down. I see an improvement with this gun in my hands. Usually, I'm not that great, you guys. Like I'm, I do like a 1.2 or a 1.3 on average in Crucible. And now I see myself with this gun, just with this gun, doing about 1.8 to 2.0 in, in the Crucible. So I'm doing halfway decent with this gun. Um, with that being said, this gun is a beast in long range. Do not use it in close range combat. You will lose a lot of your engagements because of that. It'll still kill a few guys. Yeah, you can, you can edge out some people, but if they're using like the last word, close range, you're fucking done. Don't use this gun in close range. Know, know who you are in Crucible. And if you have a scout rifle, you're meant to be long range, so be long range. With that being said, you guys, I cannot recommend this gun enough. It is by far one of my favorites so far in Destiny. Uh, and also, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a great deal. And like it as well. That would be fucking... That would be the tits if you guys fucking did that. That would be amazing. Uh, and share this with your friends who are maybe skeptical, skeptical uh, words um, about 
going out and getting this gun, but really it takes zero effort to get this gun, and it's fucking beautiful. That being said, guys, I love your face, I love your body, you've been working out since the last time I saw you, you're looking good, that's all I can say, you know? Shame on me for saying it, right? You look good. There you go. I said it. Whew. I love you.